Hi, this is Al Williams of Sunset Health Solutions. In this video, I'll be walking you through another way of creating cascading prompts in Business Objects 4. In this video, just like all the other videos that I've put together so far, we'll be using the AdventureWorks DW database. This is a sample database that's available through CodePlex, and if you just search for AdventureWorks DW 2008, the first item that comes up is that database. So it's a SQL Server 2008 database and uh, once you've got it installed on your SQL Server you can go ahead and uh, create the environment much the same as I have for these demos. Okay, so let's get started. Let's have a look at the AdventureWorks demo business layer and what we're going to do in this video is create some lists of values and associate them to parameters which can then be used in web intelligence reports. The cascading prompt that we're going to create is going to be selecting the country first and then based on the countries that are selected the region or regions and then after that based on the regions that have been selected to select the cities that are available in those regions. First thing we're going to do is create a new list of values to prompt the user to select the countries that they want to base their cascading prompt on. So let's go ahead create a list of values based on business layer objects. We're going to call this regions prompt LOV. Now let's go ahead and build the query for this list of values. So what we want to put in here, we want to go into geography, we want to select state province name and we want to select sales territory country and then we want to build a filter so we want to say sales territory country is equal to and we want this to be a prompt and we'll make the prompt text uh, one select country the reason I put one in front of there is because with a cascading prompt the only way I've been able to get them the prompts to order in the way I want them to is to put a number in front of the text. If it's just the text, it's going to sort the cascading prompts based on alphabetically. So I'm going to say one select country. Click OK. Let's refresh this, test it out. Okay, so we have the ability to select a country and we see the regions or in the case of Canada the province names and that's what we want. There's one more thing I want to do with this list of values. I don't want to have duplicate regions returned in the query so I want to make sure we're getting only no duplicate uh, rows. So if I go ahead into the edit query and I go into the query properties I uncheck retrieve duplicate rows, click OK, click OK so now we've created the regions prompt and the next step will be to create a prompt for the cities. Actually before we do anything with the cities let's go ahead and create a parameter for the regions. So I'll click on the new parameters button there. So we're going to call this regions parameter and we're going to prompt users uh, to select regions will allow multiple values and this is where we associate the list of values that we just created so we click on this icon here and we want to use list of values defined in the business layer and we're going to use the one that we just created which was regions prompt LOV click OK so let's recap what we've done so far we created a list of values called regions prompt LOV which will return all the regions that belong to a particular country. Then we created a parameter and we call this regions parameter and we associated that regions prompt LOV list of values to this parameter. Now we want to create a list of values for the cities. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a new list of values based on business layer objects. We'll call this cities prompt LOV. Let's go ahead and edit the query. So in this one, we want to select the city and state province name. We want to add a filter with the state province name. 
is in list and we want this to be a prompt and we want to use a universe parameter we want to use that regions parameter that we created earlier okay let's just refresh this and see what we get okay so now it's asking me to select a country I select Canada go into regions and now I can select one or more provinces in Canada and I can see a preview of the the cities in Manitoba and Ontario click OK now let's go ahead and create a parameter for the cities we're going to call this parameter cities prompt and the prompt to the users will be three select cities and now we want to associate the list of values that we just created for the cities again will be it'll be a list of values defined in the business layer and it's called cities prompt LOV that's the one we just created okay we're looking good so far let's go ahead and test these cascading prompts or this cascading prompt that we've built by creating lists of values and associating them to parameters that we've created in the business layer so we click on the queries button down here and we want to add a new query so we just want to get a list of city state province name sales territory country we want to add a filter the city is in list and we want to create a prompt we want to use a universe parameter and we want to create that use the city's prompt parameter that we just created now let's go ahead and test this I click on the refresh button I'm seeing a prompt summary here so it's asking me for the country first so I'm going to select Canada now it's asking me for the regions so I'm going to pick Ontario and Manitoba and now the select cities prompt is giving me a list of all of the cities in the database for Ontario and Manitoba Let's select Winnipeg and Mississauga and we'll see what we get back here so we're getting back exactly what we wanted which was those two cities after drilling down into Canada and then Ontario and Manitoba as the regions and selecting Winnipeg and Mississauga as the cities so we're headed in the right direction here click OK okay we want to go ahead now and publish our business layer to repository and click OK click on next and finish it's just telling me that there's already a universe with that name that's been published and we want to overwrite it so we say yes and it's been published successfully now that we published the business layer back to the repository let's go ahead and see if we can make these cascading prompts work in a web intelligence report I'm just going to log into BI Launchpad from the main menu up top here I'm going to go into applications web intelligence application I'm going to create a new web intelligence report and we want this to be based on the universe click OK and we want to use the BL AdventureWorks demo universe that we've been working on select let's go ahead and select the data that we want in this report so we will pick some geography objects we'll pick city state province name sales territory country get some order date information we'll pick fiscal year and for a measure we'll pick sales amount and now we want to have a filter 
on city. We want it to be a list and we want it to be a prompt. And we click on this icon. We want it to be a universe parameter, cities prompt. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh this and see what we get. Okay. So I'm not sure why it's doing this. The prompts don't appear to be in order here, but we do have the cascading prompts. Let's pick Canada as the country. Go into regions. I'll pick Manitoba and Ontario. And go into select cities. And we'll pick Mississauga and Winnipeg and Toronto. Click OK. So I can see the data preview here. I am getting results for Winnipeg, Mississauga. I guess there's no data for Toronto in this database. So I click on Run Query. Again, this is based on what we just did when we preview the data. So we'll leave those values in there. And now we have a report that has the sales results for the various fiscal years for Mississauga, Toronto. Oh, there, were, there was data for Toronto. Mississauga, Toronto, and Winnipeg. So we have built a cascading prompt in Business Objects 4 by creating lists of values and associating those lists of values to parameters we've created in the business layer level. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it gave you some ideas uh, that you can use in your business objects environment by creating cascading prompts in a similar manner to what I've, what I've demonstrated in this video. This is Al Williams from Sunset Hill Solutions and once again thanks for watching.